I'm up at 5.30 in the morning ordering paint brushes off of Amazon. You see that mural back there? The kids and I started working on that in 2022. It was my son Judah's idea. He went and he got that canvas. And we started working on it. And it's this whole family thing now. So we just put it on the wall. And so now we come in and we work on it. And I sketched out this, I guess it's like a wolf. And I've been wanting to work on it. And well, first of all, the kids took my paintbrushes so they could play with makeup. My daughter came in and she took all the, two, the paintbrushes, but it was her brother's idea. Either way, they're having fun with that. Because all the kids are artists and they all express themselves in different ways. They make music, poetry, draw, do hair, cook, you know. And since they're homeschooled, they get to spend time on things that they're interested in. I'm the only one up. My turtle was up. He was next to my bed, so I covered him up. He won't eat because he's cold. Turtles won't eat unless they're warm, so. I don't know how I ended up with so many strays. I did not buy any of these animals. They were adopted. I'm allergic to cats, so it's insane that I have one. And then, where did this turtle come from? Like, these two girls, these two ladies who were the moms of this girl who was best friends with the girlfriend of my son. For whatever reason, they thought that meant that we were family. And so when her moms were getting divorced and they were trying to find out who was gonna take custody of the turtles because it was two of them at the time. This is Birdie and the other turtle was Murda. Why am I talking about these turtles? My turtle died anyway, that was weird. But it's just so weird how I end up with strays. Maybe it's because I'm adopted that I adopt so many strays. But yes, I ordered the paintbrushes. And what else? The damn oil spray. You, you know those glass oil sprayers? Because we used to have a, a, what are those things? An air fryer. Which I don't even know why. Well, okay, the reason I got the kids the air fryer is because I wanted them to start cooking more. It was a segue into them not cooking and starting to cook. Because I didn't, Fire was still a little young back then, and I really didn't trust her to use the stove. So I'm like, all right, you want to cook? Why don't you start with the air fryer? But I ended up on their way. It, it, it takes the same, it would be cool if it only took like 20 minutes to make food. But once we start to get, it, it takes the same amount of time to cook food in the air fryer that it does in the oven. So... What was the point? I don't know. Anyway, it's been a year, and it doesn't spray anymore, our oil sprayer. So I was so hyped to find out that that was a thing because I never liked the sh aerosol spray. I'm talking all that. I really, I'm so loud. That is never going to change. I have been trying to change being loud since I was a child. I'm just a force of nature. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, dang. I'm like five feet tall. I'm really full of them, but I'm like five feet tall. Like, I am a force to be rocking with. Do you ever feel guilty for spending money on yourself? Like, I do. I don't, I, I but I, there, there are just some, I don't want to say mom things because somebody left a comment like, you know, there is a lot of single or single parent dads. Did I'm not saying that right? Yeah, well, single dad parent households. <laughs> That's so much worse. And that, you know, I guess he was trying to imply that I should be more inclusive in my content. Because it was a lot of mom this, mom that. But then I was like, well, dang. Yeah, there are single dads, too. So maybe it's a single parent thing. Well, maybe I just say mom a lot because I haven't grown up seeing a lot of men being selfless for their families. But then again, when would I have seen that? So I, I don't want to go, you know, spreading that type of perspective about families. I'm sure there are millions of fathers that, you know, are like that. I, I don't I wouldn't know about that though. But I really do experience guilt when I spend money on myself. I don't spend money on myself. I those paint brushes, like they took my paint brushes, like I need them because I don't really have anything on the mural. Um everything I thought I did on the mural 
somebody else did. I thought I did the snake. That was Raja. I thought I put my hand up there. That was fire. I thought I did the Y. That was also fire. So I want to contribute. But it's like, I have sketched out my little wolf over there. It's been sketched out for about a month. These paintbrushes have been sitting here for six weeks. But do you think I've gone over there and painted my wolf? No. Do you want to know why? The same reason I have not used my bread machine. Because I am afraid that I'm going to fail and that everyone is going to laugh at me or think that I'm a failure. First of all, my family would never do that. They might laugh at me. Oh, for sure. They're going to laugh at me. But I'll laugh at them. It's fine. It's just what we do. We laugh our way through trauma. But it's like, I find that I have not even false starts. I think it's a false start because I started to do something new by making the purchase, getting the mindset to do it, start making the purchase, but then not following through with doing it. I'm not being lazy. I'm being scared. Like, girl, why are you so scared to fail? Like, everything that you've accomplished and everything that you've been through, it's like I'm pensive, I'm pensive, I'm pensive. Like, I don't know. Like, what is wrong with you? Even if you do feel like, what does it matter? So what if you try to make a uh, well, you can make cakes in a bread machine too, but what if you try to make a cake or a, a, a bread and it also makes y uh, yogurt and fermented foods too? And it doesn't turn out like, so what? Like, if I'll go and I'll cook something and I like over salt it or like how I made a, I tried to make macaroni and cheese, vegan mac and cheese like two weeks ago, and my roux. I didn't realize at the time until I messed up and then went back and did some research and then tried the dish again an hour later that when you make a roux, your oil and your flour needs to have equal amounts. Well, I had way too much oil and not enough flour. So my roux was like runny and it wasn't cooking down and it was just like bad. Like, girl, how do you burn a roux and it still ain't cooked? Like, it don't even make any sense. Like, that was like so bad. But I was trying to fight depression after I did that. Like, girl, who gets depressed over messing up a roux? Girl, you crazy. And the whole reason that I believe that I'm here is to break behavioral patterns and to help heal my ancestral line. And in order to do that, you have to be aware of your thought and behavioral patterns that are holding you back. And this is one of them. Like, you're killing yourself before you even start. Why, why would you even consider failure? Like, why? That doesn't make any sense. Out of everything that you know about how... You make things happen when you think about them, period. Like, girl, if you expect the worst, you won't get the worst. Even if the best was lined up for you. I've got to stop being scared. I'm just going to force myself to do it. Just like every time, I, every other time that I've gotten anything done, I force myself to do it. So that's, that's the season we're in. Just do it. Because I'm telling you, the colder it gets and the darker it gets, I do not want to get out of bed. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to cook. I don't want to eat. I don't want to talk. I just want to stay in bed. Stare at the wall. So it's like, girl, you are not fighting demons. You are fighting lethargy. It's cold. I don't want to do anything. I barely want to sit with my own trauma. That's why that YouTube is on six or seven hours a day, girl. I do not want to deal with them thoughts. Like, those thoughts be popping up. Because it's like, when you do drugs for so long, and then you, like, go through a program, and then you're in recovery, and you start to be sober, after three, four years, randomly, well, this is what happened to me. I can't speak for everybody. Everything on my channel is from my point of view. I'm not saying that this is for everybody. But your memories that you thought were gone start popping up. I was an addict for 20 whole years high from the time I woke up to the time I got went to bed to the time I woke up yeah always high always high 20 years straight and so there are years that I don't remember I have relationships I don't remember people are like oh yeah you remember we did so, so, so. I'm like you don't even know who you are bad really bad and now three four years later with no heroin or methadone or god knows whatever pill I can get my hands on or crack to get me to not remember anything that I had done, that had been said to me, that I was supposed to be doing, like f f forgetting that you have six children to raise, like, girl, drugs are the devil. So now all this traumatic stuff just randomly pops up in the middle of the day, in the middle of driving. I, I stopped driving because I had way too much anxiety, plus my car broke down and cost too much to fix, so I just sold it. And, you know, that's very challenging to deal with. So, dealing with trauma when it pops up instead of trying to numb it out and forcing myself to do things that I know I want to do, but I'm just afraid that I'm going to suck at them and I don't want to suck in front of anybody because that's just what it is. I have to be blunt with myself because the type of energy I bring, 
Unless it's my kids, don't nobody want to tell me the truth. They're like, I don't know how she's going to react. She's giving that big bear energy, very much lying, very much segment. We don't know what's going to come out of her mouth or how she's going to react to things. And this is people who don't know me because my kids know that I'm the biggest, softest, goofy. Well, that's part of me, but, you know, I'm a Scorpio born on Friday the 13th, so if you know, you know. If not, I don't want to find out around it. It's like every time I feel like I've dealt with a certain issue, we just revisit it again and just make it so much worse and see if you can deal with that. Because didn't I make a video like a month ago talking about something? I need to stop being afraid to fail. And here we are cycling the same issue. Why are you afraid to fail, Fury? Why are you afraid to fail? You haven't even tried. Why are you afraid to fail? Like, it doesn't make sense. Where does it come from? Where does the insecurity come from? I don't know, but we're going to figure it out. I'll see you in the next video.